Hey guys, how are you this morning? Um, we're just getting set up for bar class. I just need to make sure that I am in the frame here for you. So we can scoot back just a bit. <laughs> um, I'm excited for class today. We're gonna have a great class. We're gonna focus on lower body. So it's going to be a something to hold on to. You will need a loop band. I suggest like one of your heavier loop bands if you have different strengths. And then you will need a light dumbbell, like a five pound dumbbell or a water bottle or something like that. Something relatively light. All right, that's all you need. So I'm gonna give you just a second to grab that stuff. I'll probably repeat it one more time. I'm gonna scoot back just a bit more so that I'm in the frame. And we'll get going here in just a second. Let's see, oh, there we go. Now I'm in here. <laughs> all right, probably, even in bar class, I tend to get um, pretty warm and sweaty. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my hair up. I thought about, you know, maybe I'll just leave it down today, but I feel like I'll regret it if I do that. So again, as you're logging on, let me know if you're here this morning. Thanks for being patient with me yesterday. My family was in town, uh, just my parents. I don't get to see them very often. And they stuck around just a little bit longer yesterday morning than I had planned. And I didn't want to be teaching class when they were leaving. So uh, we didn't have class yesterday. I apologize, but not really because it was worth it to be able to see them and say goodbye. <laughs> um, but we're back at it today. So don't worry. I'm not sick. There wasn't anything weird. My parents were uh, welcome. Booty bar today. We're going to focus on lower body. If you guys did the lower body strength class on Monday, seriously, one of my favorite lower body strength classes I've done in a long time. Do it if you haven't done it yet. Um, I'm still sore from that class. So we're already back to lower body, even though I am plenty sore still. Uh, Lacey, good morning, Sarah. Good to see you, Jody, Lisa. There we go, we're in. Um, last time, I'm gonna let you know what you need. You need a chair or something to hold on to. This is a bar class. You need a loop band if you've got it. I suggest you do one of your heavier loop bands. And you need a lightweight, like five pound dumbbell. We're gonna do this booty bar style. Um, I've got upper body stuff. We'll, we maybe will throw in a few um, core moves later on in the week because I missed yesterday. Um, Okay, you guys ready to get going? Here is how we will start. Make sure I have my towel because I know I'm gonna have to blow my nose. <laughs> Grab your five pound dumbbell. We're actually gonna start facing the bar. So you're gonna take your weight and stick it behind the knee that's closest to me. Um, you can always lose the weight if you need to. You can set your weight down and do everything we're about to do with no weight if it gets to be a little too much, all right? Okay, so we're gonna uh, position ourselves fairly close to the bar. I just want you standing straight up, hold that bar loosely, go ahead and engage your core, and we're gonna start to do a little knee bend with the leg we're standing on. So you're just gonna bend that knee and come up. That's all you're gonna do right now. Bend and up, all right? So while we're starting to move, Get conscious of your breathing. Make sure you're not holding your breath. I also want you to have full contact with the ground, with your foot that's on the floor. So you should feel the earth under your heel, the ball of your foot, nice and stable and grounded. Big, deep breaths. As we loosen up, move, all that good stuff. You can take your bend a little deeper, but I don't want you to be leaning forward into it, all right? So I want you to be going straight down, straight down and up. We're gonna do about 10, and then you're gonna hold yourself in that down position. You ready? Oh, it's good to be back today. Here we go. Ten. And nine. 
Big deep breaths. We gotta keep breathing, right? Seven. And six. Four more. Four. Three. I'm already starting to shake holding on to this. Two. Last one. Hold it down. All right. Chest is up. Back side is down. Nice and stable. Hold that knee bend. And you're going to take this leg out. And out. Okay. Keep a hold of that weight. Nice deep bend in that standing knee. Try to hold your bar, your chair, whatever you've got lately. That's hard to do, especially once you start to get real tired, right? All right, I want you to keep that deep bend. We're going to feel it in our quad, our glutes, but we're going to do 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now you're going to hold it here. Bring that weight back parallel with your other knee. We're going back into that straighten up and bend up. So up and down. Oh, here we go. Ten of these. 10. Try not to lean forward. You're going straight down. Eight. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Woo. Two. And you're going to hold that deep knee bend. Okay, this leg's gonna move. You're gonna press back and back. Keep hold of that weight. Keep a nice deep bend in your standing knee. Chest is up, don't lean on your bar. And we've got 10. Nine, you're focusing on that press back. Eight. Seven. Six. Four, three, two, last one. Line that knee up, going up and down. I'm losing my weight. <laughs> up and down. Now, many of you have been working out with me for a long time. So you know how to shift your weight back into that glute. Work on doing that. We're gonna go 10, nine. You're gonna feel it in your quad no matter what. We can't help it. And I am shaky. Six, five. This is what happens when I take a day off. Extra shaky today, I feel like. <laughs> no, it really wouldn't matter too much. <laughs> Two, last one. Now, I want you to come up, but keep a slight bend in your standing leg. Slight bend, so we're not as deep as we were, all right? Take it out to that fire. Why a slight bend instead of a deep bend now? I want to start to move the workload to our glute. So that really, really deep bend, you'll feel it in your glute for sure, but your quad's probably getting really tired. Awesome, that's what we want. But now, I want to move the workload to the glute of your standing leg, so I don't want you to have quite such a deep bend in the knee. Just a little one. All right, two more, and then you're going to give me that kick back. Two, and one, here we go. Back, and back. Keep hold of that weight. We're going to start to alternate out and back. You ready? Out, back. Out and back. We try to move while our muscles are still engaged and working. 
So in just a second, I'm gonna have you hop farther back away from your bar. When you do that, try to keep hold of your weight, try not to put your other leg down. We wanna keep this standing glute and quad engaged. But getting eight of these. Seven. Four, three, two, one, and we're gonna hold this weight back. All right, just get a hold of it, press it back. Little hop away from your bar, lean forward, bend in that standing knee. You can put your hands on your bar like so if you want. Line your knee up. Here we go, out. If you want to feel it in your glutes before, you will be here real quick. Now, I don't mind, depending on what you've got to hold on to, you can hold like this too, but I want your back flat and your chest close to whatever item you've got. All right, we're going eight, seven, six, Four, I'm losing my weight again. Two, and now you're gonna press back. Because we're in this position, that back press is gonna start to look more like an upward press, right? Because we're leaning forward. You don't need to bring your knees any lower than lined up with your other knee. I don't want you to bring this knee clear into your chest. Focus on that upward press. All right, guys, we got 10 of these, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, ooh, five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna do some big side circles. Big, big, oh, can I hold on to my weight? <laughs> I don't know. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now I want you to hold that weight high and out to the side. Little lifts. Don't worry, we're gonna take the weight off in just a second. Give me 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now we're not gonna rest. Hold it. Grab your weight. You can set it down or drop it. Stay on that one leg. Straighten, point your toe. Whoo! Man, oh man. Can I hang in here? Whoo! All right. We're gonna do 10, nine, eight, seven, six. One more little move after this. You guys can do it. I can do it. <laughs> Three, two. Leave that leg up and out to the side. Little teeny backward circles. Oh my goodness. We've got 10 seconds. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, by end, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shake it out. Oh, woo! That was killer. We're gonna move to the other side. Simple enough, right? Okay, I'm just gonna move my chair over here. Anden is my 16-year-old. It's really funny because uh, Dan, my husband, and Anden both do not like being on social media at all. So those of you that know me, my friends, know that they exist. <laughs> and sometimes I feel bad because I have all these pictures of my little kids, but they're not old enough to tell me no yet. <laughs> they don't want to be on camera. They don't care. 
But Anne then, my oldest and my husband, are like, nope. So I guess if you just went to my faith, my Instagram page, I would look like a single mom of two. All right, other side. We're gonna stand close to our bar and see if this leg we just worked will hold on to this weight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start on nice and close. Flex that core, grab a hold of your weight, and we're just gonna sink down and up. I gotta catch my breath here. I like to keep my knee bent just slightly, even in the upward position, because those muscles continue to work there. As soon as you lock your leg out, your joints take the brunt of the work, and your muscles are no longer doing work. So try not to lock out your knee. So we wanna have a little bend, and then a deeper bend. I remind you on the other side, and I'm gonna do it again. Try not to lean forward for this move. We've got moves coming up where I do want you to lean forward, but not here, okay? Stay nice and straight, upright. All right, go as deep as you can, straight down. We're gonna do 10, nine. Bar class is one that everyone asks for fairly regularly, and I took it out last week, so we're back, and I'll probably still next week have either bar or Pilates, so if you are a lover of one of those, probably Pilates, if we can do a full body workout, that would be fun, right? Right now, you're like, no, it would not be fun, <laughs> but when we're done, you'll think it. <laughs> All right, we're going to go three. Two, last one, I want you to hold it down, okay? Low, this is the part where we want to be low. And you're gonna take your weighted leg out to the side. Shaky, shaky, shaky. I'm gonna to try to breathe through my leg shaking. So, you're gonna hear my breathing shake. These workouts that I teach for you guys, I try to really challenge myself as well. So um, I don't have time <laughs> to film something separate where I look really cute and it's not super hard. <laughs> it's all in one. So you guys get to see the real thing, the real workout. And I want a good workout too, so it's gonna get ugly and sweaty and awkward sometimes. Because <laughs> I'm gonna push myself to a point that's uncomfortable too. All right, give me six more. Six, five, and four, three, two, last one. We're going up and down, up, down. Kind of regroup here. It's still a challenge, obviously, but get back to your breathing. Center your weight on that foot. Make sure you got plenty of weight in your heel too. It's not all in your toe. Sink straight down as low as you can go. We've got 10, nine, and eight, seven, six, and five. Four, three, two. Last one, you're gonna hold it low. Okay, grab hold of that weight. You're gonna give me a little kick back. Now, <clears throat> I'm sure you felt this on the other leg. We're upright for this one. So your range of motion is smaller. You're just pressing straight back. Keep your upper body upright. And I just want you pushing that heel straight back. Keep a nice bend in your standing knee. Most likely your quad is getting the bulk of the workload right now, a little bit in the glute, <clears throat> and that's as it should be. You can pop your hip out to the side because you're weighting your heel a little more. That'll get a little more weight into your glute. But we're gonna do eight more kickbacks. 
Eight. Seven. Six. And five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And we're going up and down again. My nose knees up, up and down. Okay, I thought I was shaking that at the beginning. Now we really get to shaking. All right, we're doing 10, nine, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, I want you to come up so that you just have a slight bend in your knee. We're not in that deep bend anymore. You're upright, and you're just gonna give me that little fire hydrant lift. We're changing the workload. Glutes, more so than quads now. You do need that bend, but we're not sitting real low anymore. And now I'm gonna try to breathe. Catch my breath. All right, 10 of these, here we go. 10, nine, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now in this higher position, we're also gonna do the kickback. All right, here we go. Kick, we're still upright. So it's not a huge range of motion. You're kicking back to the opposite wall. When we lean forward, I know you're like, oh, I forgot about that part. Oh, <laughs> but when we lean forward, that kick back is gonna be facing more upward. But I want you to focus on the back push. So don't draw that knee in very close. Push it back. This is where I'm really starting to feel that burn in my standing glute. So keep that standing knee bent, and we're gonna go for 10. Eight, seven, I'm gonna hop back. Six, five, four, three, two, Last one, you're gonna to try to hold that weight on there. Give yourself a little back hop. It's okay if it's falling, adjust it, but don't put your foot down if you can help it. Oh, and we're gonna come forward. Man, oh man. <laughs> Line those knees up, and here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be yelling in bar class. It's kind of like golf and tennis, where I think you're supposed to be a lot more proper than I am and be very graceful and probably call me. But this is kicking my butt. <laughs> I should just do, be doing like a, a slow, soft clap. Good job. Good job, guys. All right, let's go with 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, last one. Line that knee up. Now we're doing a kick back. Here we go. Kick. Still only coming down. This is on the kick up, not the downward motion. So focus on up. Up. That actually makes a big difference. The direction of the work. All right, can I do 10? Nine and eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Oh my gosh. Three. Two. Alternating up and back. Up. Back, up, and back. Man, oh man. All right, 
and you've got eight and seven. I'm gonna do that big circle, right? <laughs> Six, five. where you're pressing down, not away. So your shoulders a little closer, um, but feet should be pressing down. We're going to start with a little tiny high hip lift so you can feel it out, okay? Keep those hips nice and high. You're pressing pretty much straight down on your chair. If you don't have anything, Hi, this will work on. You can do this whole bit on the ground too, all right? Or if your chair just slides around too much and it's driving you crazy. All right, we're going to go three more. Three, two, and then we're going to hold those hips up. Now, I told you this front leg feels fresher to me better. So that's all I'm going to start with. Down, my other leg is up, okay? I want to just keep my hip up. We're going to hold it here. And I'm going to straighten and bring it up. That's it. 
right there. Down, up, down, and up. All right, can we do 10 of these? If you get to a point you cannot do one leg, go back to two legs and do your lifts. All right, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Last one, you're gonna hold it up, okay? Now, stable as you can to get out to the side, just slightly, and back. Out, and back. Depending on how stable you feel on your chair, you can take your leg out even farther way up to the side. If you feel like you're slipping, or it's taking way too much to stay in this position, just go out to the side a little bit. You've got 10, nine, inner thigh and glute, eight, seven, keep that hip up, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, hold it here, both feet down. You're gonna regroup, don't rest, regroup, okay? If you feel like you need to scooch a bit, now is the time to do it. We're gonna straighten that other leg. Oh, I can really straighten it. <laughs> and we're gonna tap and lift. Keep this hip as high as you can. You're gonna get a little bit of a lower back workout too. We need to strengthen that area. But if it gets to be too much, stop for a second. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, four, Three, two, one. Hold it up here. You're gonna go out to the side and back. You go out to the side as far as you feel comfortable, keeping this hip up, okay? You got 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Foot down, back side down. Hug your knees into your chest. Stretch out that low back for a second. Big deep breaths and we're gonna get rid of our chair, all right? So the rest of class, it's gonna be done mat style. Yay! <laughs> we're gonna grab our loop band finally. I want you to throw that loop band just above your knees. Get this stuff out of the way so you can see. And we're just gonna bring our hips up. All right, you ready? Lift those hips up. We're just gonna hold our hips nice and high. Take your feet out wide. All I want you to do is press out and out. That's it. Lots of people have been asking me about the cloth bands I'm using. I'll tell you again the brand that I have, but to be quite honest, um, there's a ton of really good cloth bands out there right now. Um, and there's a whole bunch of new ones that have been coming out with really cute patterns and all that kind of stuff. So it seems like everybody is doing a cloth band <laughs> currently. 
So the bands that I use work great. Um, they're pretty basic. I bought them from my gym, so I just wanted like gray and black colors. But lately I've been seeing like rainbow, tie-dye, leopard print in different uh, brands. So I'll have to look up a few other good ones and let you guys know. You may as well get a really cute one, especially if you're working out at home. That's always fun. These are pretty basic colors, but super effective, so I guess you choose. Okay, guys, we're doing 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, and six, five, four, three, Two, hold those knees open, and you're gonna take a step away from your backside. Flat-footed, hips up, push, and push. Now, I'm telling you to go flat-footed because it's easier on your calves, and a lot of people can feel their glutes engage more. However, if you feel like you can't get very good range of motion, if you feel like it's more comfortable for you to come up on your heels, you can do that. All right, that's an option. That is totally fine. We're going to go 10, 9, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold those knees out, and you're going to bring it back to that 90 degree angle. Oh my gosh, right? Push out and out. Big outward presses, get your feet wider if you can't get enough tension. We're doing 10 points and then we'll set our back side down, okay? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Help that back side down. Give those knees a hug. We're going to do something with the loop band and put it in a position that I don't normally ask you to do. I actually want you to bring it way up by your quads, way up next to your back side, way up here. All right. We're going to roll over on our side. We're going to do a move that I love, and I haven't done it in a while. I have not thrown it into class. I need my butt kicked. I don't know why I haven't thrown this in. But it's a big arching lift. So you lie down on your side. You choose the side. It doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to do both, one after the other. So it's not going to be any better on one side. <laughs> You're going to lay down. Bottom knee is bent. Top leg is straight. Okay. This top arm is up here on the earth to anchor you. You're gonna lift up in front and tap and bring it back. This little bit of resistance is really gonna make this move killer. But I want you to have enough range of motion to bring your leg clear out in front, so that's why your band is high. You can move your band as low, meaning as close to your knees as you are able and still get this range of motion. Make sense? All right, let's give it a try. I want you up, tap, and bring it back. Big high lift, bring it back. So if it scooches out by your butt, that's fine. If you don't feel like you have enough resistance, see if you can move it a little closer to your knees. But I want you to be able to get your leg really high, tap in front, and bring it back. We're gonna do high repetitions of this move and you're going to do them as quickly as you can. All right, let's try 20. 19, just like that. 16 more, oh my gosh. <laughs> 13. My leg's not lifting up again anymore. 10. 8. Come on, leg. 7. Ah. 5. 4. 
four, three, two, last one. All right, guys, here's the trick. Bring your leg out in front as far as you can and give me a lift, lift, lift. So I want it straight. I want it clear up close to your chest. And I want you to flex your foot. Lift. All right. 20, 19, I know, right? 18, 17, 14, 10, 8, 7. I'm going to move quick here, so be ready. 4, 3, Two, leave your leg up, straighten it out, turn your hips to the earth, lift, lift, lift. More glute activation in outer thigh if we pivot our hips towards the ground, all right? Not so bad. This is not as bad as out front. <laughs> all right, give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, we're going back out front again. Two, you're gonna have to pivot those hips. Drag that leg out front, here we go. Lift, 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 way out there. We're almost done with this side, I promise. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Now I said almost, right? Two. Hold it up, 90 degree bend, draw your knee to your chest. Lift, 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 lift. Keep that knee close to your chest. Tiny, quick, lift straight up. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and that is that. Bring that leg down, straighten it out, get the leg back. We're gonna roll on our back for just a second. Hug our knees to our chest. So you can move your band right now if you'd like. Kind of out of the way. Hug those knees to your chest. Whoo! Maybe straighten your legs out for a second. Shake it out. And then we gotta do the other side. I gotta remember all that though. That's the hard part. <laughs> What all did we do? Hey, I'm just gonna flip flop to this other side. Make sure I have my clock handy. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're getting close to the end of class. Okay. Ooh, that hip, we're gonna need to stretch at the end of class. I'm gonna move my band, clear up here, shin that guy, up around my hips, and then we're laying down on our side. Okay. Bend that bottom knee. That will just help anchor you. The top arm needs to go on the earth here. Same thing. It just helps anchor you. Straight top leg. You ready for that big arch? Here we go. Up and back. Now this side got a little bit of a rest, so let's see how we do. It might take a little bit extra to get going, but even though you're not working the leg on the bottom, a lot of people will push off that leg really hard. So this one might be pretty fatigued already before we even start. We'll find out. Big high arch and back. Up and back. We're doing 20. 19. You can lay your head down here like this too. 15, oh, this is where my leg stopped working last time. I think it was at 14. <laughs> 13. 14, 10. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Bring it out front 
breaths if you're not there already. And give me the lift. Get that leg as straight as you can. Way out in front of you. We're doing 20. 19. 18. 17. Remember, we get to straighten our leg down here after this one. So gut it out with me. 14. 10. 8. Come on, leg. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. Pull that leg up. Straighten it out. Pivot your hips to the earth. Here we go with the lift. Oh, I needed this. It's still working that glute muscle real good, but it's working at a complete different angle that we haven't totally fatigued yet. So it's not as bad <laughs> as out here. Woo. All right, we've got 10, and then you've got to pivot that leg back out in front. So remember, you will have to kind of change the angle of your hips to do that, okay? Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, are you ready? Oh, bring it back out in front and lift. We're gonna do 10 straight leg. 10, bend knee, and then we're moving on to the burnout to end class. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold it up. Bend your knee 90 degrees. Lift. You gotta bring that knee with you. Get your knee close to your chest. That way you'll utilize that band a little bit more. All right, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, that was it. <laughs> that was it on that side. Give it a pat. And we just have time for my finisher. So lay down on your back. We are going to loosen up just for a second. Don't worry. That was terrible, right? Woo! All right. Bring that glute band down so you can hug your knees into your chest. Kind of loosen up your hips, glutes, all that. So today we're working a lot of glutes and outer thighs. A little bit of quads there at the beginning. If you want a full-on straight Booty, glue, burn, nothing else. Again, that Monday class. Woo! That was a good one. All right, shake it out. All right, to end, we're going to do some bridges because I love them, right? So I want you to start out with your boot band under your knees. We're going to start with our feet at a 90 degree angle, about hip width apart. And you're going to lift your legs or lift your hips off the earth. Here's where you tell yourself, okay, do I have enough tension? If you don't, take your feet out a little wider. And I want you to press your knees outward so you got lots of tension at this point. We're going to do a little tuck and squeeze. You guys have done these with me before. This just means you keep your butt really high. It's a small, high movement. So you kind of arch your back and release the muscles in your glutes, and then you just tuck your hips and squeeze. All right, let's give it a try. Tuck and squeeze. Tuck and squeeze. Your arms, you can kind of do what you want. They can be here, here. If you don't have a loop band, um, this will still work great even without that loop band. Or if you're too fatigued to use the loop band at this point, you can get rid of it and go through this set without. All right, tuck and squeeze. If you are wearing a loop band, even though you're really tired and shaky, I want you to do your best to press your knees out against that band and use it because it is just going to help those glutes engage all that much more. All right. We are going to do 12, 11, and 10. I can finally breathe like just a little bit. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, 
four. My backside is already dying. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Two, because we got a ways to go. Hold it up. Squeeze those glutes, all right? You're going to take one half step outward, okay? You can be on your heels or flat-footed. Keep your hips up, okay? Step out. Hip lifts are one of my favorite. I have been trying to incorporate so many different versions of hip lifts in our workouts or bridges, in our work at workouts over the last few months. I have revisited favorites that I forgot about. There are so many versions of this move that are so effective. We could probably only do bridges for an entire workout <laughs> and have amazing results and not do the same thing once. I love it, but this is one of my favorites, all right? The stepping out motion, going farther away with your heels from your butt, really, really engages those glutes and hamstrings, okay? We're gonna do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two, now keep those hips up, squeezing your glutes. We're gonna take one more step away. So take it out, okay? Make sure that those knees are far enough out that you're utilizing your band, and we're gonna tuck and squeeze. I always start on my journey outward, and I'm like, oh, this is uncomfortable, I'm feeling it. And then as soon as I start coming back, because we have to make our way back to 90 degrees, that's when, oh, something just clicks. <laughs> and that's when that workload all of a sudden just like doubles in the glutes. So give me 10 right here, and then you're gonna go back to that middle position. 10, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold your hips up. You're gonna walk back to the middle position. Hips go higher, make sure you're still pushing out on your band. Here we go, up and up. Okay guys, we're getting to the end of class. We are gonna be a shaky hot mess, but we are gonna continue and all end together. So don't quit. Even if it's really ugly, you can scream, you're at your own house. Even if you're at the gym, you can scream. You don't know those people, it's fine. All right? <laughs> Give me 10, 9, and 8, 7. Oh, I'm so shaky. 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, hold your hips up. We have to come back one more position, 90 degrees. Hips are higher, push those knees out. Okay, here we go. Lift and lift. All right, we are gonna do 12 hip lifts. Then for the burnout, we're gonna do a couple angles of outward presses. You guys can do this, all right? You've got 12, 11, 10, Nine, two angles at the top. That's all you gotta hang in there with me for. Seven, six, five. I know that low back's feeling it. You can do it. Three, two. Hold your hips up, toes out, okay? Make sure you got pressure on your new band. Keep your hips up, toes are out. Push out, out, out. The higher you can keep your hips, and the harder you can press out, the more you're going to feel this. You have 20 of these, 20 with our toes in, and you're done with class. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, and 15. Get going. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, do not drop your butt. Two, one, turn your toes in. Butt up, here we go. Push, push, 20, 19, 18. Oh my gosh. 14, 13, 12, 
10, get those hips up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, that's that. Help yourself down. Oh, <laughs> you made it, okay? Take that band off. And we are gonna just work out our lower back and our glutes and our hips for just a second so we can stand up. Those of you who've done bar with me before, you know, one of the stabilizing muscles that booty bar works amazingly well is your lower back. Mine always gets tired in booty bar class. And most of us have weak lower backs. So it's a great opportunity to strengthen our lower back, but it can be a challenging class. So if you feel really tired in the lower back, you're in good company, we just continually work on strengthening those muscles so we can do more. But that's kind of just an added bonus. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> Woo. All right. We're going to grab our knees again. Little low back stretch. I want you to come up to a seated position. Let me know if you finished class with me today. We're going to do a little butterfly stretch. Kind of flutter those legs. Let me know if you had a move that was just what you needed today. Was there a move that you thought, oh man, I need this one. This is a great one. Um, also, it would be fun to hear who did the lower body class with me on Monday or who has done it now. Um, and if you're sore from that one too. That's a lot of information I want from you right now. So you don't have to give me all that information. <laughs> oh, guys, a little glute stretch. And I want to do it this way so we can also do a little lower back stretch. So stretch out that glute, and then you can sit up straight, give yourself a little twist for that low back. Let me know today. Was there a move that was just what you needed today? Um, and let me know if you've tried the glute workout from Monday. Oh, my hips and glutes are so tight. Woo! And then I'm gonna give myself a little twist for the low back. So great to work out with you guys, so much fun. Um, I have had several people ask me, you know, if I'll start streaming back on Instagram, my live workouts, and you know what, for now, I don't know that I'm gonna be doing that anytime soon. Um, I like working out with my friends. I don't like some of the creepy people that just happen upon Instagram live feeds. So I'm just gonna keep doing my workouts like this. I don't even post the link to these workouts on my Instagram page. I just say where to find it. So people have to physically go to YouTube and type in my uh, name and find me. It's not just a link click because I want to work out with people that really, you know, want to work out with me, not just want to be weird and make weird comments. So I really, you guys, I consider you guys my friends. I consider the people that work out with me tight knit group. So thank you for being with me today. Jody, let's see the beginning series with the chair. It was horrible. My quads were like giving out in that one, Jody. I agree with you. Lacey, you're sore from Monday. Monday's was so good, Lacey, right? I mean, it was like horrible, horrible, but so good. I and I have to, I'm gonna have to save that workout for myself and like go work out with myself later. And remember all that because I am so sore in my glutes. I love it. I'm so glad you did that. Great job, you guys. Um, I can't remember what tomorrow's workout is, but what is it? What's tomorrow, Friday? Upper body. It's an upper body heavy strength day. So we'll get some of that. And then you and I, uh, if we want to, we'll have to throw in some cardio on our own this weekend because I didn't teach yesterday. You guys probably already did your own workout, so it's just me. <laughs> Great to see you. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for being with me this morning.